most famous physical therapist on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We're the most famous physical therapist on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. So, number one sign your sciatica is getting better or getting worse and what to look for. This is really important as you go through this program to know, am I getting better? Am I doing the right things or am I doing the wrong things and it's getting worse? Right. This video is part of a series of videos on treatment of sciatica or back pain. If you want the entire series, go to bobandbrad.com. And, go, and look for our series of programs and you'll see uh, one on sciatica or back pain because uh, you might be using this just for uh, back pain. Sure. All right. This generally is we're talking about sciatica here. Uh, right. Pain, numbness, tingling, any of those unusual symptoms that go down the leg. And I've had patients that come in and said, I don't think I'm getting any better. And I talk to them about what we're going to talk about. And I'm smiling because that's like, I know you're getting better, even though you think you're not because of this reason. Right. So these are the, yeah, the symptoms that we're looking for. Uh, pain, numbness, tingling, weakness, right. and a, burning. And uh, I've had people describe it as like cold water yes, running down their leg. Uh, changes in sensations. Uh, yep. You can get the weirdest sensation when you get nerve pain. Right. Or ner nerve involvement, I should say. Sure. So these are two concepts that what we're talking about is centralization mm -hmm. and probably peripheralization. But we'll explain it. We're gonna, we use tape on Brad to, to show what we're trying to accomplish here. Right. So. so location of the symptoms is really critical to note. And as a therapist, I, you know, I have a diagram and we, and we draw it out so I have a good memory because my memory is not so good anymore. But on paper, it's good as can be. That's right. So the uh, best memory look. is not as good as pale ink. Is that what it's something like that? <laughs> All right, so right here, Brad's going to show, this all represents pain. And I know they're not connected, and usually they are, you know, pain is connected. But I, this will do, good, do a good representation. So back pain, if it's just in the back, that's not as bad as pain that has also spread down into the buttock. And just to be clear, because we mentioned when Bob says pain, he's referring to all the symptoms. It yeah. could be the cold, the tingling, the numbness. Technically, you could say symptoms. I don't know if we need to get that technical. Right. The overall concept here is the more it spreads out, the worse it's getting. So if it's just right here in the back, it's not as uh, bad as if it spread out into the buttock. It's not as bad if it spread out into the posterior thigh here, to the calf. And we even got one onto the foot here. Which so, is not uncommon either. Yeah, so it can go be connected all the way down like that. Mm -hmm. The more it spreads out, the worse it's getting. The, the more it starts to retreat back into the back, the better it's getting. We call that centralization. Right, right. So let's say, you know, you we do some treatments, and the first day, you you feel that that's what we look generally for is the foot pain too, right? Foot right. tingling on this. Yep. Has that gotten any better? Is it any different? And you go, yeah, you know, it feels a little bit better. So we take this off. That's improved. Right. Like I was saying, I've had people say, oh, my back is bothering me more. It hurts more here. Then I'll say, what about your foot pain? Oh, that's not there anymore. All that stuff is gone. And I'm starting to smile. It's like, okay, now we're going in the right direction, even though you are not aware of it. And Brad makes a good point. Sometimes this pain can even get a little bit worse, but these are getting better. Let's say the calf pain goes away, but the back pain gets a slight bit worse. Still a great sign. We want to we want to get rid of that pain that's traveling down the leg before we get rid of the pain in the back. That's right. generally the, the way to go. So you're going to keep moving right up here, and eventually it'll be into the back alone, and that's where we can then make it go away. Right. Now conversely, it's getting worse. Let's say um, we're doing things and you you started off with pain just here and in the buttock and all of a sudden you start feeling pain in the posterior thigh or the calf. That means things are getting worse. Right. The worst sign of all, by the way, is let's say this pain goes away. It gets better, but this pain gets worse. Right. Yeah. We're going in the wrong direction then. I mean, I don't want this pain to go away and this pain gets worse. Right. That means we're doing something wrong. So very simple. Let's get the pain retreating. Let's get it out of the leg. Let's get it out of the butt. 
purely into the back, then it'll eventually go away once we get it up into there. And we have a number of uh, videos specifically showing their specific, we call them directional exercises that are gonna help centralize it. We just did one a little bit ago that's gonna be part of the series, and we're gonna have a complete, uh, a complete set series. of videos that are gonna help you get the pain to centralize where Not only exercise, be. but even the way you handle yourself throughout the day. Right. You, know, you wanna avoid those pain makers, which we talked about. Yep. The more you avoid the pain makers, a lot of times the, be the better the pain right. gets. Sometimes so. it's changing posture. That's very common. Right. So excellent. check out the other videos. There you go. Thanks.